Hey guys, today I'm back with a fashion video. You've been very patient. A lot of you have mentioned before that you've loved some of the kind of loungewear or leisure wear or kind of athletic stuff that I've worn. So I wanted to do something kind of in that same vein. Today I'm working with Sol and Celine, which are like the athletic sister to um, Urban Expressions. So none of these bags contain leather. They are all nylon and polyurethane, I believe. Just something a little bit more sporty, so I thought this would be good because it could apply to everyone from students all the way up to like moms who want something to be used as a diaper bag. So um, I'm really excited to show you these bags. I think they're really well made, beautiful items. And yeah, let's get into it. Oh. There's going to be a giveaway too. When I looked at their website, this is one of the first bags that I was really excited about. So this is the All Star bag in the color grey. So this one retails for $90 and comes in six additional colours. So they have lots of colours in all of their bags from very neutral kind of blacks, creams, greys, all the way up to really bright colours like um, really vibrant blues and reds. So if you're not a neutral person. They probably have something for you too. And I will have information on a discount I can get you guys, which will be linked below as well, but I'll talk about that at the end. So the reason I love this one was because it just looks so kind of youthful and bubbly and fun. And I don't know what it was about it, but it really appealed to me. I think partly because it reminds me of the Chanel cocoon range that they did, um, which I do think was like a nylon, but I'm pretty sure they used leather with it because it's Chanel. So it's really nice to have a non-animal version. So I'm gonna show you inside. So we have the front zip pocket, which is a pretty decent size. Again, just very neutral lining, very well made. All of the zips work really well. That is the front pouch. And then in the main compartment, you have the one zip that goes the whole way around. And in a few of the bags, they have these little kind of garment bags. So so I will probably use this as a dirty laundry bag when I travel. You could also put shoes in there if you wanted to, like bikinis, swimwear, anything you, that you do want to keep separate. That's kind of a nice touch I thought was to have that in there too. You then have the back pocket, which is a mesh one, which I thought was pretty neat because you can obviously keep organized because it's separate, but you can also see exactly what's in there. So I probably would put chargers and things like that in there. And then on the front side, you have this popper closure part with a separate um, divider. So you have the main bag, the back zip, and then the front divider too, which has just like a popper closure on it. What do you call it in America? Snaps? Is that what you call them? Anyway, and then these straps on the back are this very soft, squishy, I don't really even know what's in there probably, some kind of foam maybe. I like these because sometimes the plastic pulley ones can come a little bit loose and just kind of like stretch as you wear them. Not stretch, but you know, expand. So I like this not only for that reason, but I think the fact that they are this kind of buckle is a little bit more chic and a little bit more grown up for a backpack, even though it is this kind of cute bubbly design. So I really like that about it. I like the kind of soft handle on top. I like it because it's so lightweight. It's very well made. I like that it's a fun design. I think that's really nice, but it's also like available in these really neutral colors. So I always think that things that are a bit more fun and youthful looking are a bit more wearable, um, for me anyway, when they are in neutral colors. So I really like all of the dividers and the compartments in there. Yeah, I really like this one. And I think this is probably my fave. So this next one is the Carpe Diem in the color Natural. Again, it retails for $90 and it comes in an additional six colors. So again, I think they have brights and neutrals. It's a super simple design. I like that the, um, again, not real leather, but PU accents kind of give it that chic edge to an otherwise fairly athletic looking bag. So I do like that about it and I think that's gonna to appeal to more people. It is very light, but very sturdy. So I think if you are looking for a smaller bag or maybe you're a smaller human who wants something a little bit smaller, this would be really nice because it's, I think it's a really good size. So again, the front has a pocket. This one is the real pocket, which is again, fairly big and just a kind of plain deep blue lining. And then this one is a trick zip, I think maybe to confuse pickpockets. And then moving on to the inside pouch, this one does have two zips on it so you can open it up from you know either side or close it to either side. In the back you have another one of these kind of snap closure dividers which I think is really nice. The other thing about the snap dividers on these is that the divider part itself is fairly padded 
So if you did have kind of electronics or anything like that, that would be a really good place to keep them. You then have the zip in the back, which is probably about the same size as that front pouch. And then you have like the two kind of phone holder pouches in the front. And then obviously just the big inner section. So you can actually fit a lot more in this bag than you would think from its size because it is fairly small, but you definitely can use all the space quite well, which I like about it. And then these straps are just the faux leather the whole way down again with the buckle adjustments, which are really easy to do, but you know they're gonna stay because there's no movement, it's a buckle. Again, you know, equal parts chic and athletic, I think. So I think this is another really great one. So this next one is the Cloud9 style in the color Olive. Again, it's $90 and comes in six additional colors, I believe. It's a very simple design, but I kind of think the slight sheen to the nylon, combined with the fact that it's Olive, which everybody is loving right now, and the kind of like fake leather trim. I think this is probably like the chicest of them all so far. I love that it is kind of a semi-structured shape, but it's still fairly kind of soft and wearable. I'm not describing myself well, I know. So this one just has the one main pocket there. You then have these two pockets on the front, the main size, another snap divider, and a zip back pocket too. I love that this one opens up the full way. Again, I think this would be something that would be really good for a whole multitude of people because it has such usable space inside it with good dividers. Yeah, I think if you know someone who is like very chic but needs a backpack, um, this would be a really great one. And then the back straps are padded, again with the buckle adjustments. I think this one is really nice when it's worn um, with just a very plain, maybe like all black outfit, like black leggings and a black kind of sporty top. And worn with the straps a little bit longer. I don't know what it is about it, but I think it looks really good. I certainly have never seen anything similar to this bag that I can think of. So I think that this is a really awesome design and I think it's gonna be a little bit different to what everyone else is carrying. So this is the Hustle in black. This one retails for $60 and comes in, I think, four other shades. For me, I think this is probably the one I would use most specifically for, like, athletic purposes. It's such a nice little shape, and I think that with just, like, a water bottle and a few other essentials, this would be perfect for hiking or anything like that, where you don't want to take too much, but there are, like, a few things that you want to take with you. I love that the strap just goes across your body and you can also change which way you want it to go. So depending on kind of like which way you're more inclined to throw a crossbody bag on, you can adjust this to fit that. I do think that this one is kind of like a little bit speedier to kind of throw on and off if you want to find something. So again, I think that's why I would prefer it for kind of like hiking or something like that, because you can just easily grab things out of it, kind of like spin it around your body. So on the front, you have this zip around pouch, which is actually fairly big. You could fit a fair amount in there. You could fit your phone in your wallet, whatever else you are gonna need to reach for. And then you also have a kind of extra snap closure flap in the front of that one too. And then in the main compartment, again, it just has the one zip to open. You have the additional kind of like phone pouch or whatever in the front. Um, the snap divider again in the back, but in miniature form, and then the zipper. And I do like that this one has the lighter lining. I think because it's so small, it makes it a bit easier to kind of see things in there. And I think this one would be really great for anyone who likes to pack a smaller bag. Like this would be great for someone who just takes a few things with them on the plane when they travel. It's just nice that you can keep it super close to your body for travel. And also you're gonna be able to squish this into any kind of like areas under the seat or maybe even in the seat back pocket. I don't know if that's allowed. And then the strap itself on the back is this very kind of cushiony material. It has the kind of almost like fishnet, it's not fishnet, what's it called? Mesh on the back. And then obviously just the woven nylon strap which is adjustable. So yeah, I really like this one. I was kind of surprised because it's not ordinarily something that I would be like, I want that. But after looking at it on the website, I was kind of like, that would be ideal for hiking or just anything like that where you just need a few things with you. And it's nice that you can fit a water bottle in there as well. It's not like too tiny for that. So yeah, excited to take this hiking. And then lastly, we have the Wonderlust in gray. Again, it is $90. And there are three other shades of this, but it does have the same kind of like, not tie dye whatever kind of pattern that is on it. I think this is ideal for super comfy outfits. If you're traveling and you just wanna take a backpack, 
it would be great for that. You have the zipper pouch in the front, which is really big. You then have these two side pouches on the center panel, which are separate. So one just kind of like sits behind the other one. You have the main pouch, which does have two zippers on it again. You have the snap divider on the front and then the kind of mesh zip divider on the back, as well as the um, little laundry bag thing with this one too. And then you have the two um, kind of like water bottle holders, one on either side. These straps are again that mesh backing with the kind of woven nylon adjusters. I just think this would probably be the best option for anybody in school out of the ones that I'm showing you just because you can fit so much in it and when it's empty it's really light but it's also very well made and sturdy so I would probably cram this full and take it on the plane. I could easily get my laptop in there. I just think it's a really nice option if you do need something a bit bigger and it's super comfortable to wear as well. So yeah, I'm excited to cram this full the next time I fly. So those are the five that I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to pick five that were kind of different enough from each other to show you what a good variety Sol and Celine have. Again, none of them have any leather on them. They are all super well made, they're lightweight, and I just think they're really great options if something more athletic or a backpack specifically is what you're looking for. So as I mentioned, I do have a discount for you. So if you use the code WIFELIFE, this will all be below as well, you can get 15% off their site. And I will also be holding a giveaway with them too. So all of the information for that will be on my Instagram. You can check the uh, check down there for information on that if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, that made no sense. So yeah, overall, I've been really impressed with them. I love that they are athletic, but they're also very simple and kind of chic and not like just, I don't know. I really enjoy them and I think that they very much suit my style so I'm hoping that a lot of you will like them too because I know you kind of like my lazy leisure outfits. So yeah, I will have a link to the website below along with the discount code which is just wifelife and information on the giveaway I'm going to be holding with them too which is a pretty good one. Let me know which one of these is your favourite in the comments below. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!